In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply and divide in the same problem with rational expressions. In truth, this isn't any more difficult than just multiplying or just dividing, because we follow the exact same pattern and process we did with two fractions as with three fractions. In this problem, we have a squared plus 7a plus 10 over a squared plus 6a plus 5 being multiplied by a plus 1 over a squared plus 4a plus 4, being divided by a minus 1 over a plus 2. We've seen problems with division before. We know if there's division, the first step we need to take care of is multiplying by the reciprocal. We never really divide, only multiply. So let's rewrite the problem, multiplying by the reciprocal. We have a squared plus 7a plus 10 over a squared plus 6a plus 5 times a plus 1 over a squared plus 4a plus 4, being multiplied now by the reciprocal a plus 2 over a minus 1. Now we're ready to move on. If you remember, before we're allowed to reduce, we're only allowed to reduce factors. Factors are things multiplied together. We are not allowed to reduce terms. Terms are things that are added together, and if you see, everything is being added to something here. These are all terms, not factors. There's no reducing allowed the way this is written. So, let's factor everything. In this first numerator, we're multiplying to 10, adding to 7. You can see that would be 5 and 2. So we end up with a plus 5 times a plus 2. In the denominator, we're multiplying to 5, adding to 6. Be careful with 5 and 6, that's a common error. We're multiplying to 5, not to 6. 2 and 3 would be wrong. It's 5 times 1, so we have a plus 5 times a plus 1. In the middle, that numerator doesn't factor at all. So we'll just keep that as a plus 1 as a factor. In the denominator, we're multiplying to 4, adding to 4. It's going to be 2 times 2. And because those match, we know we have a perfect square. So we'll factor it to something squared. Taking the square root of the a squared is a. The sign from the middle is plus. And the square root of 4 is 2 times a plus 2 doesn't factor, and the a minus 1 doesn't factor. And we finally have everything factored, ready to reduce. As you notice, there is a lot of factoring with these rational expressions. You need to be very comfortable factoring before we even start these rational expressions. All right, let's begin reducing this rational expression. Looking for factors that are in common in both the numerators and denominators, we have an a plus 5. An a plus 2, dividing out one of the a plus 2's in the denominator. Of course, there's another a plus 2 that gets rid of it completely. And an a plus 1, dividing out an a plus 1. The only factor left is a minus 1. However, it would be incorrect to say the answer is a minus 1. Notice the a minus 1 is in the denominator. It needs to still be in the denominator, in our final solution, which means something must go on top. Recall, if everything divides out, there is still a 1 in the numerator. We get 1 over a minus 1 for our final solution. We arrived at that solution by first multiplying by the reciprocal, so we had all multiplication, factoring each polynomial, which allowed us to reduce to our final solution.